Hello everyone, I want to give you some information about BBL today. We have a patient, our patient is coming from the France and we will do the liposuction and the BBL for that patient. And now we are planning to applying the three, two techniques for this patient. First of all, we will apply the laser and we use the laser for melting the fat. Laser is also like a device and we use this laser for melting the fat. And after that, we will aspirate the fat with the microair. And after that, we will uh, separate the fluids and the blood for, uh, part of the, uh, this fat and we will uh, get the pure fat. And after that, we will inject this fat uh, to patient's hip regions and the butt regions. And in this patient, we will prefer the use of the... Uh, in that patient, we will use the safe PBL techniques. And also during the operation, I try to explain the, what is the safe PBL and which uh, device uh, we use in that case. I will show everything step by step. Hello again. Now we will start our surgery. We can do this operation under general anesthesia because we will work in the abdominal region, flanks, upper and the lower back sides. And for starting the surgery, first of all, we infiltrate the fluid from the operation field. This fluid contains adrenaline and we uh, use this fluid to decrease the bleeding. And, and after that, we wait uh, around uh, 10 minutes. And after that, we start the laser. We use the laser for mel melting the fat. The laser gives the ultrasonic waves and it's called the uh, melting of this fat. I want to show the effect of the laser now in the water. You can see this. It gives the ultrasonic energy and this device works in the uh, like a fluid space. And this device works in the uh, wet plate and it's called the harm to the fat cell and this harm causes uh, melting the fat and after that we aspirate the fat, this melted fat with the microair. Now I will apply the laser and we will give the ultrasonic energy to the fat cell and we will try to melt the fat. We generally apply the laser uh, 10 minutes for every field of the operation area. For example, we will do the abdominal region, we will do the flanks for that case and so we should apply the uh, 20 minutes for the flax region and 10 minutes for the abdominal area and after uh, we melt the fat and we use the microair for the aspiration now we finish the application of the laser and we melt the fat and we will aspirate the fat with microair microair is a power assisted system and it causes uh, this kind of vibration and with these two combinations, so laser and microwave combination, our aim is the getting the smooth, like a loose weight appearance on the operation field. And now I will aspirate the fat with the microwave. I will collect the fat in this place. And after that, we will separate the fat and the blood and the fluid. And after that, we will get a uh, pure fat and we will inject this pure fat to the uh, hip and the butt region of the patient. And first of all, I should aspirate the fat with my gray. Now, uh, first of all, we aspirate the fat from the abdominal region, from the flank side, and we collect the fat in the tubes. And after that, we remove the blood and the fluid from the fat, and we have a pure fat now. Now, I will inject the fat for the hip region, and we want to increase the hip size slightly. For this, we will open in the one hole, and after that, we will inject the fat to the hip area to increase the hip size. I open a one hole for this region, and after that, I enlarge the hole. And generally for fat injection, I prefer the power assisted system. Mm -hmm. 
Now we finish uh, front side. We aspirate the fat from the abdomen flanks and we uh, inject the fat for the hip regions. Now we will turn the patient. We will aspirate the fat from the back side to decrease the belt size. And after that, we will inject the fat to the butt region. We will increase the butt area and we will finish our surgery. Hello again, I want to give you a brief information about the safe BBL. In this technique, now we aspirate the fat all this area and we start to inject the fat to the butt region. In the safe BBL, we inject the fat between the muscle and the skin region. We don't inject the fat inside the muscle area because there is a wide arteries and veins. We don't want to get any kind of embolism risk. We don't want to see any kind of embolism problem. Because of this, we apply the safe BBL. And in safe BBL techniques, we use the ultrasonic device and we check the exact plane that we inject the fat and we want to see the exact plane for the fat injection. You can see this area and which part of the space we inject the fat. And I want to show you also this. We also inject the fat with the power assisted system and you can see the space. And now I will inject the fat and this place I fill this area and when we use this uh, ultrasonic device we know that we don't inject the fat inside the muscle only fat injection is done between the skin and the muscle area that means the safe BBS Now we finish our surgery, it lasts around uh, four and a half hours and we insert the two drains for, for the patient's abdominal region, two drains for the back regions. We use these drains, drains are the silicone tips and we use these drains to, uh, for removing the blood and the fluid from the operation field. And we injected the 600 cc fat for the one side of the hip and the butt and 600 cc for the other sides. And now uh, the patient will wear their co her corset. And after that, we will transfer this patient to her rooms and she should stay two nights at hospital. During this period, we will use very strong painkillers and antibiotics to prevent any kind of pain and the infection. And four hours after finishing the operation, she should start to eat something. And after that, our nurse will help our patient and she should uh, start the walking. And during the, these two days, we will give her painkillers and she should learn the movements and she should learn the walk. And if everything is okay, Two days after the surgery, we can transfer our patients. And after this kind of surgery, after BBL surgery, uh, the patient should stay in Istanbul minimum seven days. And after the surgery, I want to check the patient minimum three times. Two or three days after the operation, uh, I want to check the patient again. And four or five days after the surgery, I generally remove the drains. Two days after removing the drains, the patient can start to take a shower. And we don't want to apply the pressure uh, on the butt region and we should protect the uh, butt area to protect the fat injection. And the patient should lay down on her face for three weeks after the surgery. And also she should use the BBF like a... Uh, and also she should protect the, her uh, fat injection uh, during the sitting position and the sleeping position. And three weeks later, she can start walking type exercise, and but she should wait minimum six weeks for a regular workout. And after the surgery, after the BBL surgery, the patients cannot do the uh, squat type exercise for eight weeks because we don't want to apply any pressure on the butt region. And we finish our operation, we get a good result. And after the surgery, she will get a lymphatic treatment. This treatment should be applied uh, minimum 10 session. Every two or three days, she can get this treatment. And after that, she can get a good appearance in her abdominal and butt region.